Hey guys, welcome to the channel. I'm Sheen. This is a live stream. Uh, so we're going to talk a little about a little bit about Tesla. I mean, amazing performance. Uh, we're going to talk a little about about Workhorse. The news that came out. Workhorse had a, a nice pop also today. Uh, but you know, definitely Tesla is the one that takes the boat. Uh, so thank you guys very much for joining me. Uh, we'll just uh, wait a few more minutes. Let a, a few more people join. Uh, let me see. I think there's a few people in here already. I got I think 12 people in here now. And we have a few chats, so uh, let me just look through the chat. Say what's up to everybody. Uh, first person in the chat, Dear Moon, scary Tesla, should I buy more? Uh, good question. We're going to talk about that. So now we're, we're at this point where it's like, oh, man, I mean, we're pushing more than all-time highs, like the all-time of all-time of all-time highs. So uh, we're going to talk about, you know, what is this, you know, each person's situation is going to be a little bit different. So Tom Fazel, we're going to, we're going to talk about that. Oh, look at this. Sean HKG owns 750 shares at 7060. Wow. Are you serious? That is a, a real OG Tesla shareholder right there. Then a lot, a lot of people are saying, you know, what do I do? do did I miss out on Tesla? Uh, you know, it's pushing on just crazy, crazy highs, uh, totally separated. So there's two things here. There's Tesla stock. And then there's Tesla, the company, and those two things uh, are not running, uh, you know, concurrently right now. And uh, you know, I'm speaking as a Tesla bull. Uh, you know, obviously, uh, I, I am I am pro Tesla, but I am fully understanding that the Tesla stocks and the Tesla company are really two different beasts right now. Uh, and so, when that happens, uh, you're in a situation where you feel that at uh, any time. Uh, because because the, the company, Elon Musk and the Tesla company and the leadership, they do not control the stock. You know, the stock has really run off on its own and it, it's an animal in itself. It's its 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 own beast. So when that happens, investors, especially retail investors like you and I, get stuck in this predicament of, you know, I'm trying to value the company, but now the price of the company is valued five years, six, seven years in advance. So a lot of their technology is being priced in. So what if I get in now and the stock price, you know, takes 30%, 20%, whatever percent dip. Uh, so, you know, I think a lot of people, they, you know, just been asking me, I think the first few people have been asking me in the chat, let me scroll back up. Uh, so yeah, Amy Lynn Landley, uh, I'm up 140% on Tesla. I'm very conflicted right now because I don't know if I should sell now to lock in the profits or continue holding. Tesla is already valued five years into the future. So exactly, that that's my point. Uh, so that's where we get into this predicament. Uh, so uh, I'm going to address that predicament. And of course, you have to understand everybody's situation is different. It all depends on, number one, your your, your tolerance, uh, your, your risk tolerance. Number two, what type of account are you holding this in? Are you holding this in at a retirement account? Are you holding it in a taxable account? That, make, that makes a very big difference. Uh, you know, do you need this money in the next three to five years? Do you, you know, are you looking to make quick money? Uh, so that all makes a difference. So I can't address it to everybody. Uh, and, you know, I'm not a financial advisor. I'm just going to give you my opinion and my thoughts and personally what I would do uh, if I was in certain particular situations. So, uh, so we're, we're going to answer that. Uh, but if you haven't yet, smash that thumbs up button. It really helps out the channel. I have over 5,200 subscribers now. So thank you guys so much. Uh, smash the thumbs up button. Consider subscribing if you haven't yet already. We're doing a giveaway soon. Uh, Tesla short shorts. I ordered, I think, 10 pairs. I ordered 10 pairs of Tesla short shorts. Uh, five pair medium and five pair larges. Uh, that's all they had at the time. Uh, so uh, I'm, I'm going to do a giveaway. So anybody uh, that that uh, wants to be in this giveaway, make sure you subscribe. You have to be a subscriber to uh, win this giveaway. As soon as I get those in, uh, I'm going to let you guys know, and we're going to do a giveaway. We'll do like a random number generator, and I'll, I'll figure out, and I'll give you all the details, uh, and we'll do a giveaway. And remember, these are limited editions, so uh, they'll be probably worth a lot of money in the future. If you don't want a pair of Tesla short shorts, uh, I'll be giving away an uh, Amazon gift card for $69. Uh, so yeah, if you don't want Tesla short shorts, that's not a problem. We'll hook you up with a gift card. Right now, first of all, uh, first of all, I like to say about a month ago, I put out uh, a video uh, saying my price point of Tesla is uh, $2,400 in the month of August. Uh, and I, I believe at that at that time, Tesla was probably, uh, I have to look back, I think it was probably like maybe $1,800. Uh, and so that was my price point. I was thinking that uh, Tesla was going to hit $2,400. And I put out one video about a month ago, and I put out another video about one or two weeks ago. And I, and I was saying, that's my price point. I'm sticking with it. Uh, 
Tesla uh, $2,400 in the month of August. And literally the last day of August, which is today, August 31st, uh, we hit uh, $2,400. That's uh, pre-split and $480. That's post-split. So we actually closed well above that. We closed at like almost $500. It was like four, what, four ninety eight? I think we closed that. Uh, four ninety eight three twenty is what we close at, which is absolutely amazing. Uh, you know, up like what was it, twelve percent uh, on, on the day. Then after hours, uh, it, it kept on going up. After hours, it was up another two point eight percent. Sorry, two point two eight percent. So after hours, up to five hundred and nine dollars, five hundred nine seventy. So just absolutely amazing. So now we're we're in this predicament where it is so far from what Tesla is doing because seriously. Tesla has not done anything uh, that no, like no news about any new products, any new ramp up. Uh, we all speculate about the battery day, but all that I believe is priced in currently the battery day news, the million mile battery, uh, the plaid powertrain, all that is priced in. So we're now at a situation where uh, the, the price of Tesla now at almost well, over $500 post split uh, is, is, is really, really going out of control. So, my, my my thing is, okay, if you are willing to hold long term, so I'm thinking three to five years, and that's that's minimum, three to five years minimum, maximum 10 years or, or more. So personally, I'm willing to hold this for 10 years or more, 15, 20 years, uh, because I don't see Tesla going, basically ex expanding their whole portfolio until at least eight to 10 years. And what I mean by that is model, model Y ramp up. Cybertruck production, Tesla uh, Austin completion, uh, uh, Berlin completion, Shanghai completion, uh, then the the Plaid powertrain with the new Model S and Model Model X, the the Roadster. So that's already seven things. Uh, not to mention more uh, more invested into into Tesla Energy with their solar. Uh, so now I'm talking about eight, nine, nine things. Uh, Robo taxi. So all that self driving included. So that's like ten things. I don't see Tesla completing that uh, until at least I would say maybe seven years, six years at the least. Uh, more realistically, probably uh, eight, eight to ten years. Also, one more thing: the biggest thing is a Model Two, a price point of Tesla at under thirty thousand dollars. A Model Two, uh, and you know that, that's been talked about as well. So all that product, all that lineup that we kind of foresee, I, I see that happening in the next ten years uh, realistically. So after that. We could see Tesla being up there with Apple, up there with Amazon, two trillion, maybe three trillion dollar market cap company. Right now, uh, they're just over almost five billion, so almost half a trillion. So I'm talking about two trillion to three trillion market cap company in, let's say, eight to ten years. So if you're willing to hold for eight to ten years uh, at the maximum, I think you're going to see massive price appreciation. Look like. 900 a thousand 1500 percent of what it is right now so if you're so if you're willing to hold for that long that's what you could you, that you could you could hope for with that said that does not mean that tesla is not gonna, gonna gonna have a pullback i fully believe that tesla is gonna have a pullback because this run-up is absolutely absolutely incre in incredible and it's just it's just kind of crazy and separated from reality so i do personally f expect a retraction when do i think this retraction is going to happen after battery day so battery day is coming up in like literally two or two and a half weeks or was it the 22nd? So like close to three weeks after battery day, uh, everyone's going to know what they have up their sleeves, what they're, what they're going to produce. Uh, and we can fully gauge and price in what Tesla is going to do after that. I think we're going to have a, a pullback. I don't know, 10%, 15%. I have no idea. I have no idea what the pullback is going to be, but I think after battery day, we're going to have, a, a pullback and Tesla is going to come back down, uh, you know, to kind of on par of what they're going to do in the next three to five years. So their, their price point has been, has been, has been uh, factored in. So uh, that's what I think. So now if you're, if you're going to, if you're going to hold for, you know, eight to 10 years, I think you just hold and you're going to see that price appreciation talking about a $3 trillion market cap company. If you don't want to hold for that long, if you only want to hold for three to five years, I mean, I still think you're going to see massive price appreciation even in three to five years because I think there's going to be a pullback. Uh, but when Cybertruck comes out, when the when the when the factory is completely built, uh, 
you know, the price is going to go up again. When you see cyber trucks on the road and you see it on the news and you see people like YouTubers putting videos out about their cyber truck and you know, doing this and doing that, you're going to see Tesla price appreciate again. And so that is pr probably 12 months away, right? They're going to build factories. They build factories faster and faster. They built Shanghai factory in 10 months. So they're, they're fully capable of ramping up uh, Austin factory and producing that cyber truck in 12 months. So this targeted uh, by the end of next year, we're going to have cyber trucks on the road. So when that comes out, you know, this stock is going to go up again. It's just, it just is. So I think between battery day and when their next product rolls out, which is uh, the cyber truck, uh, I think between there, we're going to see price appreciation. But uh, after battery day, I think we're going to have a pullback. So uh, if you don't, if any, if you, if you are only willing to hold this for a few months, if you're if, if you're going to buy in and just think you're going to make some quick money, uh, I would I would advise against that, and that's just my personal opinion. Uh, this is Tesla is not a not a good stock uh, to hop in and out of. Uh, many people I've been talking to many people, reading comments that people want to get in, make make a lot of money. You know, the, they 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 expect battery day and they expect the price to go up, uh, and so they get in now and they expect to sell after battery day, and it. it you know, it could very well go down. Uh, you know, the price of the, the stuff that's coming out on battery day, the, the the price point is already factored in. So I would advise against trying to make a quick buck on Tesla stock. I would say minimum hold three to five years, maximum 10 years. Uh, and you're going to be very, very happy uh, with their price appreciation. I think this could be a, a two, three trillion dollar market cap company. Uh, so now uh, the predicament. Uh, so like somebody like Amy, Amy Lynn, uh, so up 140%. And then so now uh, we're getting a little antsy. Should I sell and take my profits? I bought Tesla shares in a margin account. I haven't used any leverage uh, uh, to buy it so I can hold it longer. Okay. So yeah, so uh, so she bought it in a margin account, but she didn't, she didn't use leverage. So she didn't actually use margin to buy it is what I'm understanding. So, uh, you know, do I think that Tesla is going to fall? I mean, so you said you're 140% up. Uh, do I think it's going to fall 50%? No, I don't think it's going to fall 50%. It's definitely not going to fall 140%. So I think you're going to be in the money no matter no matter what. Realistically, uh, if it falls, my opinion, my total guess, just grabbing a number out, out of the sky, maybe 10, maybe 20% uh, correction. And, and that's after battery day, between battery day and, uh, and the Cybertruck coming out. I think probably... 10, maybe, maybe 20% uh, price adjustment uh, correction. Uh, so that you're up 140%. So, uh, I mean, okay, so what? Big deal. You lose 20%. So that, now you're only up 120%. <laughs> that's still massive. That's still a home run, right? So even if you hold on to it and you lose 20%, right? And then you just wait a little bit longer, you're going to make that 20% up uh, in the matter of probably 18 months, I would say. So, you know, that's just my opinion. <laughs> I, I uh, if you're if you're if you're willing to hold that long, I would say just just don't even mess around with it. Just just hold on to it.